Welcome guys to the test tutorial of Android chat application with Firebase series. I hope you are working with me and your code is working fine and if it's not then please do let me know. So in this one we will try to display a green light here or a gray light here if the user is locked in or logged out. So you know uh, yeah if the user is on the app then we want it to show the status and we will be working on it so let's get right to it we'll go in main activity and we will create a new method status string status and here what I'll do here is database reference reference and uh, firebase database get instance get reference users and uh, reference dot add value event listener and here I will take hash map string object hash map new hash map hash map put status status and here what I'll do is reference dot update child update children hash map and I'll go here and add status offline status offline status offline added and now what I'll do here is create some activity lifecycle method on resume on resume the status should be online whenever the user has resumed the activity and if user has moved away from the activity then it should show offline okay so here what we will do is copy and paste this in message activity perfect and uh, we will go in our model and here add another string status string status this status status and we will create getter setter okay that's perfect now what we'll do here is we will go to our adopter and in user adapter we will add yeah take a boolean is chat and pass it here is chat this is chat is chat and once we are here we will if is chat and I will leave it here for a little bit but first of all because I had copied the layout already so that I, that is why I didn't go towards there there but if you are just 
new to this video then you have to go to uh, you have to go to layout for users and here you will create two image views these are the image views that I have created so the visibility is gone that is why you can't see them but I can just change the visibility for you to see yeah this is the layout uh, in, in the layout for users that we inflate our recycler view on we have created this green kind of uh, green color image view if it's online then it should show this and if it's offline then it should show gray how cool is that so we will again set the visibility to gone because we want to control it from the code in our adopter so the, this is what I wanted to show you here in this layout you can add uh, yeah the, these these two image views and I will go back to user adopter and first of all yeah here I will find image on and image off we have to cast these views first and image of uh, image on is item view find view by ID image online I'll copy this and I will change this here image offline image off okay so if it's chat then we want if user get status is equal online then we want holder dot image on set visibility view visible and the visibility of image of should be gone else it should be the other way around gone visible or else the visibility of both of the excuse me guys the visibility of both of the views should be gone and now here what we will do is we will go to our chats fragment and here it is giving us an error because we have added a boolean there so this is telling us that okay the visibility is true and uh, when we are in in users fragment it's up to you if you want to set it uh, <laughs> if you want to set it true here but in user fragments we here I don't want to see if the user is online but here while I'm chatting I want to see if they are online and offline so this is about it and we will try to run our activity and see if this is working but right now I don't think so we will be able to see it because I am not logged in on my second device which I will do it now because otherwise I cannot demonstrate it but if you have like an Android phone you can uh, use your phone and emulator simultaneously with two different accounts so I won't be able to show my phone screen the external device that I want to use but yeah so this has crashed for some reason and let's see why can convert yeah so first of all we will can't convert uh, what is wrong here 
yeah one more thing is that we didn't do is that we in register activity we will type offline and we will look at this error why it's coming but meanwhile I'll just make sure that spelling are correct status okay yeah the error is still there so I have to fix it we will go to users string status status and we'll check in our adapter no change here boolean is chat so here is uh, everything looks fine but there seems to be some problem in our uh, in our activity maybe so let's try to find a solution for that can't convert to Okay, well, we would have to see why this error is here. Everything is fine here. This is false. User dot clear dot clear and uh, what could be the reason? Uh, profile uh, user fragment chats fragment. why it's not running maybe we can check in our main activity yeah so the thing is that the reason it's not displaying because we forgot to add the user id of uh, of the child so we want to make sure that whenever we are accessing the path we have to see what purpose are we accessing it for because here I want to know about the specific user if that user is online I cannot just refer the whole user node because then 
it will get confused on which user am I asking the database to display me the status so what I'll do here is I will uh, I will add the child firebase dot get UID and uh, I will delete this extra one that was added yeah and now I'll try to rerun the app and we'll see what happens here yeah oh I think need one more change because this will crash again in even in message activity we need to perform the same step so let it crash one more time please do tell me on uh, on how can I improve my videos and what other tutorials I should do yeah so I think I have to run it again because it will crash anyway yeah now basically it's showing me uh, offline which is good the, this is what I exactly wanted to see because once I get online from my second device then it should you know yeah so the app is running without any errors and I'm going to install it on my phone also meanwhile you can just like wait a little bit that uh, yeah here uh, so if I will log in with Tina on my phone then this light should turn on and if it does not that means there is a problem but it will because if there was a problem then the app should have crashed anyway so I will log in okay uh, t at gmail.com one two three four five six So here the status has been updated to status whereas it should have been uh, mistake again status we have to pass not the string but the parameter yeah and uh, I'll just replace this whole thing because if you hard code the string then it will not change even when it's working fine okay uh, so now we, whenever the user is resuming this value online status method will be replaced here so let's just run the app on both devices and now here we will see the result clearly the next tutorial we will work on how to display the last message that was sent you will see the message here it's like a placeholder but I will show you how can we display the recent message in the chat fragment under the user name So app is loading and there we have it so I have logged in with Tina that is why it's green 